Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. As many of you will be aware that there was UK elections going on, it was on 4th of July and we have also got the results. It's not like in India which took around one month because of the size of India but whereas in UK since it's been really small so they had elections on 4th of July and we got the results back at midnight on 4th of July itself. So we know like who has won and that's this and that's what like this video is a little bit about to let you guys know that uh, now there's been a change in the government which government has been elected now and most importantly how does it affect the international students and your prospects to start your career here in the UK right so these will be the theme of this video so first of all just briefly talking about the results uh, so in UK parliament uh, as we in India we've called Lok Sabha so Lok Sabha I think there's around 545 seats uh, in uh, UK parliament we have called around six hundred fifty seats and then uh, we have caused two main parties here in the uk one is labor party and the second one is conservative and right now we know rishi sanak was the prime minister he was from conservative government before the elections and after the elections now rishi sanak has lost all conservatives have lost they haven't been able to get the majority and labor party which was the other party has won and they have won 412 seats out of 650 so it's a clear majority and uh, so now you guys know that who is the new prime minister it's keir starmer he was the one who was leading the labor party so we've got a new prime minister and a new party so as you can as you can think of right since we've got this new party being elected new person so this likely uh, is going to impact the international students because the policies are going to be changed as we go uh, to the new government and before even going to let you guys know that what will be the changes uh, there are like a few things i just wanted to make sure that all of you know like even the prospective students who doesn't know much about the immigration system in uk know that what were some of the changes which the previous government had brought right so i think the biggest change which the previous government had brought and which impacted a lot of the international students and their job prospects was the changes on skilled worker visa so if somebody doesn't know skilled worker visa is the one which you need so once you've done let's say your one year of masters you ideally need to be going on a skilled worker visa so that you get a five years of work permit and then you can apply for a permanent residency then again you've also got a post-study work visa which you can also get after your university but again it won't be leading uh, but it will be only for limited it will be for a limited time only for two years so it means that you can't live here for a long enough time so it's ideal for you that once you've finished your degree you get skilled worker visa so we had certain criteria for the eligibility and we had a little bit of a lower salary threshold previously but with the previous government conservative government the salary threshold has been increased to thirty-eight thousand pounds before it was around twenty-six thousand pounds so it was a big big change then the second biggest change was around the like you know the suggested people can bring their dependents on the undergraduate and master's program a really big change and then the thirdly it was mainly on the immigration fees so for, i've talked about the post study work visa and the skilled worker visa so in order and in order for you to apply for this visa you pay something called immigration fees and the government also increased the immigration fees right so you can see like they were pretty much strict with the with, with their migration policy uh, with the previous government and now since we've got the new government they're going to be even more changes and now what are those changes that's what i'm going to spend more time in the second part of this video before we go to the second second part of the video I've got a really really helpful resource for any of the upcoming international students so if you're coming here for studies you'll be required to live in a student accommodation and there's an amazing amazing platform which I want to recommend to you which is Ember Students as it is a marketplace of all the student accommodations right so if you're coming to Glasgow now you don't know which all accommodations are there so instead of you searching it one by one going on Google Ember student has done already the job for you because they've already listed all those properties on their website so you can make your decision based upon the cost based upon the type of room you need type of flatmates you need and from now until mid of august they've got an amazing amazing offer going on which is so there's a link mentioned in the description of my video so if you click on that link and book your accommodation you'll be eligible to get 50 pounds cash back so it's 50 pound cash back if you book your accommodation before mid august then secondly uh, you will be also participating into a lucky draw where one lucky draw will be getting one month of free stay so you're getting a lot a lot of work if you book your accommodation through ember students so make sure to take the benefit of the opportunity the link is in the description go ahead click it and book your accommodation with ember students so now back to part two of this video here i want to talk about what will be some of the plans of the government uh, going forward with the new labor government 
and here the very first uh, thing which i've got is they want to make sure that over the next five years the net migration number per year the average would be three lakh fifty thousand so uh, so they want to make sure that the average number for the next five year is three lakh fifty thousand and what is the current number it is way higher than this so what it means is in in totality over the next five years they want to reduce that net migration number which is now they want to they have got a target the average target of making it 350,000 per year over the next five years right so when we think about reducing this number uh for now you know when we talk about migration it's not just about international students it's also about a lot of illegal migration which is happening and with international students obviously they bring a lot of advantage to the uk's economy so don't expect it is going to be like super tough for you to get the visa or something as long as you've you're meeting the you're having the documents you are genuinely coming here for studies you should be still be able to get the visa and come here and now the most important thing which you want to think about when it comes to the policies is how would your job prospects change right and now in order for you to do a job you need something called a skilled worker visa and now this is a very good thing the the, the new government what they're trying to do is they were, they're making sure that their skilled worker visa policies are really strong and now this is the front where they want to make sure that the immigration and the skills which the individual brings to the to the country where they're coming they are strongly bonded together so that, that's the thing right so make sure you study hard and you've got a work experience and the policies are going to be more in your favor right you, you you'll be finding an easy for you to get that skilled worker visa and that's like that's like what their plans are so they've got these five different points over here the first point is they want to disallow companies from sponsoring workers if they lack sufficient workforce training so they want to make sure that the person actually has got the skills and those skills are being developed either at their university or through some sort of trainings they don't want the employees to be exploited or the employer to be taking benefits of the immigration policies right so for it's, a, so it's like a sort of a bad news for employers but not so much for uh, somebody who's looking to get a job in a company so they're ensuring that the worker rights are maintained uh, they're not being exploited so that's its first point and the second one is about remove occupations from the immigration salary list if sector fails to engage with workforce plan now here in order to understand this point so first of all what is the immigration salary list so basically as, as i was talking about earlier on in order for you to get the skilled worker visa you need to have a salary of 38000 pounds but now there are certain jobs which are in immigration salary list which means that you don't need 38000 pound you need since it's in the shortage uh is 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 there's a big demand of those jobs but there aren't enough people so it comes into something called a shortage occupation list so what it means so for example chemical scientist is one job which is at the shortage occupation list and for that job we won't be requiring thirty eight thousand pounds as a salary it would be lower it will be like only twenty nine thousand pounds so it helps you as a worker to maybe to, to get that skilled worker visa so that's like what the immigration salary list is and also you should be looking at the immigration salary list so if you're coming in a specific field have a look um, are there already surplus workers or is there a shortage so if there's a shortage it's a good thing for you and your likelihood of getting that skilled worker visa sort of increases again right so that's what the immigration salary list is and the third point is around increased penalties for employers violating minimum wage and other employment laws so again so this is about employers who doesn't pay their employee the minimum wage rate right so they're going to be again strict for the employer here and the fourth point is strengthen the migration advisory committee and link it with uk wide skills bodies very clear labor also plans to investigate the impact of the conservatives increase the salary thresholds for the skilled worker route so again the point i was mentioning before now as conservative government have increased it to 38000 point 38000 pounds as their minimum salary threshold now the labor government is going to look at the repercussions of that route right is it actually benefiting the employees or is it hurting them in order for them to get the employment so they'll be reviewing it which is again a good thing because they they'll be collecting all this data they'll be learning uh, from the from the data from the decision which the conservative government have made and there even might be some sort of relaxation that now it might not be 38000 it might actually go back to maybe 35000 or 34000 or maybe it can also go the other way around we don't know so but it's good like they have, they'll be having a special team who will be working on that specific case so this was the main highlights which i wanted to share in this video then again they've got some more news on health and care visas so so they've got like so in this article there's a lot of information so so but this was the one which was the most critical which i want to share in this video if you want to read in your own time i'll mention the link in the description of this video for the article 
So this summarizes the, all the points which I wanted to highlight in this video. If you want to get in touch with me, you can book a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me. The link is in the description below. It's a paid consultation. And then make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down any questions, any, any doubts, anything like that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.